Growing up here on the shores of this bay for a lot of generations now, um, it's the first thing I always looked at every morning when I've been around here. You know, I've been away a few times, and uh, but it's the first thing I look at that bay every morning. I look at Nancy first, or my kids first, but yet it's always consistently there and uh, you know always ready to look after your needs. Alrighty. Uh, I needed something to relax and uh, I started out with a license to uh, recreationally fish oysters because that was relaxing and I loved oysters. So uh, then uh, I had the opportunity to move that to a commercial license and um, started doing that uh, just as a hobby because it relaxed me. And uh, so, you know, I, I knew the industry. This is what basically happened. If you're uh, afraid of mud and afraid of being wet and afraid of being cold, this is not a job for you. So, the good weather when you're out here is, uh, is the exception rather than the rule. The big one runs water down to the holes or the jets in the, in the manifold that uh, blow the shellfish off the bottom and the smaller runs run to other nozzles that squirt water back and keep the shellfish coming back onto the chain. Once they're on the chain, they just come up. You want to fire her up? See if, I don't know whether the pump's lost its priming yet or not. They come into the shore and they can be put off in the water and left in bags overnight or they can be brought directly into the plant. Um, we just load them on a pellet, tractor brings them up the ramp, they're taken from the tubs in the plant, dumped on the table. And they're washed, cleaned, graded. And the ones that are ready for market at that time can be sold. Usually they're put into color coded bags. We color code the bags so we know what different grades are in what bag. Then they'll go back out into the bay for storage until we have market for them. What we do, uh, that dead shell, we take that and we overwinter it so that the uh, frost kills all disease off it. And the next year we'll put it back out to collect more oysters. So nothing goes to waste. Yeah, you can eat a couple dozen, but oh I had God. lunch already, so. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. is your dessert, is it? Yes. But oysters are all about a good experience. Like with you guys, I've had a blast. You know, like I've, I've really enjoyed spending time with you guys. And that's the way it is with an oyster. If you take an oyster out, you open an oyster up, you share it with somebody. If you're lucky, maybe you have a sip of beer or a little sip of wine or something along with it. And it's an experience and it's a sharing of something in common. And um, it just gives you a good feeling. Oh, 
dois. 